I'm Mary Hartnett with Siouxland Public Media News. Monique Scarlett says she won't be running for another term on the Sioux City School Board. She was elected to the board in November 2019, and her seat is up for election this year. Scarlett served as vice president of the board in 2021. She and Perla Alarcon-Flory were the first female minority leadership of the board. The COVID-19 pandemic, hiring a new superintendent and assistant superintendent, as well as appointing a new board member or two, are all district changes that occurred during Scarlett's term. At this point, five of the seven school board seats will be up for election this year, including seats held by board president Dan Greenwell, Taylor Goodwin, Scarlett, Bernie Scalero, and the seat vacated by Perla alarcon Native Americans living on tribal land face many barriers to their voting rights, according to a new report from a civil rights committee, the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights. The commission's mission is to investigate and report on issues related to civil rights and make recommendations. In the wake of concerns raised by some Native American voters, the U.S. Commission's South Dakota Advisory Committee decided to focus on the issue. The committee held five public hearings in 2022 to inviting input from legal experts, academics, advocacy groups, and people affected by the issue. In the coming week, the committee hopes to have a full report on their findings on civil rights abuses in voting for Native Americans. The second annual Missing and Murdered Indigenous Relatives Powwow is set to begin at 5 p.m. tomorrow at Sioux City's Riverside Park. Organized and sponsored by a number of tribes and indigenous organizations, the three-day event is set to include a breaking of morning, dances and dance contests, dress contests, arts and crafts vendors, and food vendors as well. The South Sioux City Senior Center celebrated its reopening today with a ribbon cutting. The center has been closed for six months for renovations. The Nebraska Department of Economic Development provided a grant for more than $500,000. It went to support facility improvements, and also other donations were added to pay for renovations. That's a look at Siouxland Public Media News. For updates, go to kwit.org. I'm Mary Hartnett.